In the tranquil province of Tamba, nestled amidst the rolling hills and serene landscapes, there resided a wise Zen master named Makisan Hiki. His temple was a sanctuary of stillness and contemplation, where seekers came to find guidance on the path to enlightenment. One day, one of Makisan's dedicated adherents approached him with a heavy heart. He confided in the master about a source of turmoil in his life the perceived stinginess of his wife. It was a concern that weighed heavily on his mind, and he sought Makisan's wisdom to navigate this challenge. Makisan, ever attentive to the concerns of his disciples, decided to pay a visit to the adherent's home to gain a deeper understanding of the situation. He hoped to offer guidance and insight that would help both the husband and his wife find harmony in their relationship. Upon arriving at the adherent's humble abode, Makusan was welcomed by the wife. She was a woman of strong character, her face bearing the marks of years of hard work and resilience. The adherent had often complained about her perceived stinginess, and Makusan wanted to explore the matter further. With a sense of curiosity and determination, Makusan stood before the wife and showed her his clenched fist, holding it firmly before her face. Her brows furrowed in surprise as she looked at the master's hand, perplexed by his action. What do you mean by that? She asked, her voice a mixture of curiosity and bewilderment. Makusan maintained his composure and inquired gently, suppose my fist were always like that, what would you call it? The wife considered his question for a moment before responding, deformed. With a slight nod, Makusan proceeded to open his hand flat, presenting it before the woman's face. He extended his fingers, revealing the openness of his palm, and once again posed a question, suppose it were always like that, what then? The wife, reflecting on the change posture of the master's hand, replied, another kind of deformity. Makusan's gaze met the woman's, and he offered a soft smile. If you understand that much, he concluded, you are a good wife. With these words, Makusan left the home, his visit, leaving a profound impact on the woman's heart. She had been presented with a lesson that transcended words a lesson in the nature of generosity and openness, not merely in material terms, but in the disposition of the heart. In the wake of Makusan's visit, a transformation began to take root within the wife's heart. She recognized that her perceived stinginess had not only caused discord in her relationship, but it also limited the flow of kindness and compassion in her own life. Moved by the wisdom imparted by the Zen master, the wife took it upon herself to make changes. She began to see that true generosity was not merely about material possessions, but about the openness of one's heart. Slowly but surely, the dynamics of the household began to shift. The wife started to participate more actively in the distribution of resources and also in saving for the family's future. She sought a balance that allowed her to provide for her family's needs while also nurturing a sense of abundance and generosity. As the months passed, the husband noticed a profound change in his wife's behavior. Her actions spoke of a newfound understanding a recognition that generosity was not a finite resource to be guarded, but an infinite wellspring that flowed from the heart. Together, the husband and wife embarked on a journey of shared understanding and compassion. They learned to communicate openly and empathetically, forging a bond that was strengthened by their mutual growth. Word of this transformation soon spread throughout the community, and the husband and wife became a source of inspiration for others. Their journey served as a reminder that the practice of generosity was not confined to the giving of material wealth, but extended to the generosity of spirit and the openness of heart. As for Makis and Hickey, he continued to guide his adherents on the path of Zen, teaching them that true generosity transcended the exchange of material possessions and encompassed the richness of the human heart. His visit to the adherents' home remained a timeless lesson, a testament to the power of understanding and openness in transforming the lives of those who embraced its wisdom. And so, the story of Makis and Hickey and the wife's transformation serves as a reminder that generosity is not a matter of quantity, 
but a reflection of the disposition of the heart. It teaches us that true generosity flows from an open heart and extends beyond material possessions, enriching not only our relationships but also our own lives.